Auf der Kartbahn fing er an, wie viele andere auch. Sein Idol Michael Schumacher. Das bin ich und das ist der Michael. Das war der elfte Platz in Kerben, also in der Jahreswertung. You don't know how no, long I know you already because there was, I was one time in Mauritius on holiday and Michael Schumacher came to me and said, Gerhard, you have to look, there's this guy in Gokhart. It's The name is Vettel. I said, who? Vettel. He's bloody quick. Michael, you were ahead at the halfway point, so what happened in the second half of that? That was the problem. I was too careful then, and I was uh, probably too cautious. And, and how did you apply the, the pressure in that second half? Yeah, I mean, it was very tight after one lap, and uh, yeah, things were going through my head because last year we raced ourselves in semi-final, same car, and it was close. He was a little bit ahead, and I thought, not again. And then last year I shunted the car, so this year I managed to get it to the line. And uh, yeah, it's nice to, to pay back. <laughs> and the crowd enjoyed that as well? Yeah, I think so. Sorry for the confusion with the car, but uh, I couldn't get to first gear. So we had to change the car, then the tires were cold. You know, if you race against someone like Michael, you have to use every opportunity to make sure you, you can beat him. So uh, that's why, you know, I got an extra lap, then he got the extra lap. So <laughs> my tires yeah. were cold as well, <laughs> waiting yeah. all the time, yes. But uh, I think it was OK. Well done, thank you. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> The friendship between newly crowned world champion Sebastian Vettel and Michael Schumacher started on a local racetrack when a 10-year-old boy met his hero. Growing up and uh, yeah, starting in go-karts, you know, Michael was for all of us, and I'm speaking not only for myself, for all the kids, you know, I was seven, eight, nine years old when I first met him. And uh, for all of us, it was the highlight of the season. I mean, I remember the last round we, we, of the championship that was held in Germany in Kappen. He was there to, you know, hand hand the trophies to us and um, something you don't forget. You know, it's you don't know what to ask, what to say in that moment because it's Michael Schumacher next to you. You know, you don't know how to act. And um, we had more than 100 kids and, you know, he was patient enough to to all of us, you know, congratulate us. And um, I think it was very special for for all those kids and including myself. <laughs> I know Sebastian since he's a little kid and this puts a connection uh, already. Then he's just a nice guy and uh, we get on well, we are friends. And to see him to have success the way he had success, it's, uh, it's great. I really enjoy to see him the way uh, he has been successful this year. At the same time, I look very much forward to fight him. And for me, I've had no problems uh, with uh, many teammates to fight and go to its absolute maximum limits, step out of the car, hug each other, have a beer together and, uh, and have fun. I can very well uh, differentiate uh, with this one and I have the feeling Sebastian can do this as well and that's why our relationship is what it is. That's why when we do our Nations Cup uh, together, uh, we have fun and uh, we obviously been pretty successful. But then if we do the singles, yes, uh, we want to fight each other as well. And, uh, but this combination uh, is, is a very truthful and, 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 and special. Because in this world of, um, how you call it, uh, ego that, that you have to have, it's difficult to find a relationship like this and uh, rather special. Still today he is a big inspiration because I don't you know, necessarily think you, I need to explain what he achieved so far, but it's more the way you know, he was achieving or he was uh, having his success. You know. um, I think you have many examples and very few like him. So you know, he's a great, great person, he's a great sportsman. And um, if you look also in other sports, you know, there are always top guys fighting for the for the victory. But maybe there's one guy who is always there. And uh, when it comes to motorsport and Formula One, this guy 
was and still is Michael. So, you know, he has been a, a big inspiration and as I said, still is. Aus Mainz, für die beiden. Gewonnen haben sie hier. Schauen Sie sich Michael Schumacher an. Macht sich schon warm für die Torwand. Tragen wir sie mit Applaus hier zu uns hoch. Hey. Richtig gut. Ich glaube, man muss Ihnen sagen, dass Sie hier hochkommen sollen. Michael, Sebastian, hier nach oben. Also die halten den Ball hoch. Super können Sie das. Michael und Sebastian, jawohl. Woo! Welle fürs Publikum in Düsseldorf. Und jetzt nochmal das Mainzer Publikum, das Düsseldorfer Publikum. Michael Schumacher, Sebastian Vettel im Sportstudio. Seven winners in Wembley 2008, the Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing, they won in 2009. Here, Espria Arena in Düsseldorf 2010, and now's their chance to make it five on the trot. Sepp, zumindest kannst du einmal hier dieses Wochenende überholen. What, is, what were you saying? What is, you've got to do it in English. We, you know, we're broadcasting to the UK. We're not broadcasting to Germany. So I do the throttle, he's doing the steering, and, and what do you do now? I'm, uh, I'm directing. Okay. Forward, please. Oh! <laughs> uh, that, that, that is fantastic. <laughs> even, even Wunderbar. Even girls sound better when they speak German. So. Oh, that, it's not very good, my accent? No, yeah. Scottish goes, you know. Uh, to be honest, I only learned my, my German from watching DVDs when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I drive? <laughs> no, still not. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Send me these DVDs. Um, Friday is one of the most demanding days. Um, start quite early with engineering meetings and you have all the, all the testing all day long, so there's a lot of preparing technically um, for the weekend, for Saturday, Sunday. That's the most, uh, that's the most important uh, <laughs> period of the weekend. And, um, uh, and then there comes, in, um, what else? <laughs> that's it really, a lot of technical stuff. Clinching that third title in, in a race like to this, uh, like this today, uh, where lots of action and uh, lots of defeats in a certain moment, but then fighting back in, in getting up where he been, and uh, I think he deserves that championship. He's been working hard for it, and I'm proud of it. I'm Sebastian Vettel. And I'm Michael Schumacher. And both of us, we are Team Germany. Michael Sebastian, congratulations. Six times in a row, no one's done it before. That clearly means a lot to you. What was the secret? Well, uh, hard teamwork, big preparation all year long, uh, working with the engineers, set up preparation for all this one. All the debriefs, the exactly. meeting, hours, you know, nights we spend, no sleeping, so. Especially last night. <laughs> for Sebastian winning his fourth title in a row, being only 26 years old. Uh, it's a great achievement and uh, I'm, I'm very proud of him because I know him since he is a little boy. We are good friends, we just spoke uh, some days ago and uh, I crossed the fingers for many more of the time. But the boy wonder of 2010 has become the man for four seasons. 
Michael Schumacher has been talking on the BBC saying that he congratulates you. I know you spoke to him just a few days ago. Yeah. He welcomes you to this club and he says that he thinks you've got many more world championships in, in you. What does it mean to hear these words to someone? As you say, you looked up to him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he was on my wall, you know, when I was a teenager. Later on, you know, he got, I took him off. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> had some, no, and had some, yeah, girls in bikinis and, you know, that phase of my life. Uh, on my wall, but um, yeah, I spoke to him a couple of days ago, and uh, it's quite funny. And uh, you know, to nowadays I have such a good contact to him because I was 11, 12, you know, when I was stood next to him, and I was like, "This is God," you know. You actually met God because this guy can do amazing things in a car. And nowadays I look at him and I see the person rather than the driver. But if I then pinch myself, you know, uh, trying to see the driver, seeing what he achieved. Uh, yes, he had a good car, no, 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 no doubt, but uh, he worked very hard for that and uh, I think people more and more start to, to realize that, so it's, it's very special. Uh, I can't, can't probably, probably find the, the right words. Uh, you know, for all the kids, I remember 95, 96, 97, for all of us, um, we looked up to him, he was, he was our hero. Great job, very consistent. Look at his teammate. That's the that's a, your reference point that you got to take. Um, I mean, he won all those races, 13 this year, I think. Uh, Mark Webber, uh, he, he won none in the end, if I'm right. That's uh, pretty shocking. I mean, glad I'm not his teammate, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely he's a worst uh, truly champion and. Uh, I'm really happy for him, and if somebody can break all this record, then I preferred him uh, him to be than, than somebody else. Yeah, I think I was uh, as shocked as probably everybody else in the paddock. Um, uh, obviously, um, I have known him for a long time. I've been looking up to him for all my life, and uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I got to know him obviously when he did his comeback uh, a little bit more and uh, he became a, a friend. Uh, we didn't have an awful lot of um, contact but so it was not like every day on the phone but uh, <coughs> we spoke to each other regularly and uh, yeah, um, it's, uh, you know, at the beginning I heard some, some news that he had a, an accident and of course you, you didn't think um, of the accident being, being that bad. Um, Especially these days, you know, everything gets uh, spread out in the media fairly quickly and usually there's uh, not a lot uh, to talk about. But uh, in that case, obviously, um, yeah, it's proof enough that he's still in, in coma and we still don't know uh, which shape he will be when uh, he wakes up, which is uh, horrible for, especially I think for his, for his uh, family and uh, close friends, um, not knowing what's, what's going to happen. So in that regard, uh, you know, as I... As I said, I think I'm still as shocked as uh, everybody else, and obviously uh, pray for you know and hope that he will uh, just come back and the miracle will happen and he will be the person he he has always been before. Well, I think it's very simple. Coming from Germany, uh, when I you know started karting, uh, Michael won his first World Championship, so it has always been Michael that I've been looking up to, and then obviously very followed him very close uh, when uh, when he moved to Ferrari and uh, yeah, created a winning team for, for many, many years that had so much success. So it's been a huge inspiration and therefore closing the loop, um, you know, racing for Ferrari now myself, I think uh, it's yeah, definitely a dream that came true, and, uh, but it's not done yet. So uh, we obviously have a very ambitious target to come back to the top and win the championship. But uh, Michael has been, you know, a huge inspiration and uh, Obviously, it would be great to have the opportunity now to ask him a couple of things, which is currently not possible. But I think, uh, you know, being a racing fan uh, before anything else, and I feel similar to all the other racing fans in the world. We obviously wish him all the best for, for, for his recovery. Sebastian, if I could turn to you, that's your seventh Rock Nations Cup title. For so many years, it was you and Michael Schumacher. I'm, I'm sure that there was an awful lot of you thinking about your great friend today while you were racing around and beating everyone. Yeah, I mean, uh, 
we started this journey together. He was helping me out most of the time in the beginning, so I was able to learn a lot from him. I think uh, we all would have loved to have him here. Um, so uh, I think, in a way, you know, thinking about motorsport, racing, Formula One, our thoughts are with him. So uh, we wish him obviously still the best, even now it's a couple of years. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I think we all miss him, not just me for Team Germany, but also I think, uh, you know, everyone uh, of the drivers. Uh, he's always good company. He's very difficult to beat on track and very difficult to beat off track. So, uh, yeah, um, but overall, I think, uh, yeah, as I said, I was probably smart enough to pay attention when he was teaching lessons, so it helped today. There's a Netflix documentary coming out, I think, in a, in a couple of weeks, um, where uh, I think Corinna speaks for the first time or, uh, about about it. Um, it's it's an amazing sort of you know dignity that the team, that the, the, his family and, and and Mick and Corinna and, and Gina Marie also have kept over the years and and continue to. Well, I think it's a horrible situation to be in as a family. Uh, you know, obviously, um, there's a lot of focus on uh, on Michael and now on Mick. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of other families who suffer similar, mm. um, a similar situation, and as I said, it's horrible. So uh, um, it changes the life. I guess it takes a lot of strength. So I admire the, the strength that you know Corinna and uh, and and the kids have. So um, yeah, uh, I haven't seen the documentary. I uh, I will watch it for sure. And um, you know, for me, Michael is still the best driver and uh, a hero um, and uh, and a friend that I simply miss so uh, it still it still hurts to to think you know in which situation he is hanging on to his life fighting every day so um, yeah I think it puts uh, think a lot of things in perspective to see you know how how everyone can you know get caught out or mm. um, how, how a little moment can change, change your life. So. Für mich ist er mein großes Idol, seitdem ich angefangen habe, Kart zu fahren. Er hat mich ja geprägt. Der Rennfahrer Michael Schumacher ist mein Held. Der Motivationsgrund, Rennen zu gewinnen. Der Sport fasziniert mich, interessiert mich und da kennt man andere Rennfahrer, aber es war keiner dabei wie er.